Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best apps of the week on the Galaxy S4, so let's do it to it. Well, what do you know? It's the Cool Loser for show. To deliver, so get ready for some apps and game. Number one spot, this is the place to go. Android tech, you know, doing my thing. The best of the week, so you know how it goes. Here on Cool Loser Tech, let's start the show. And we're going to jump straight to the applications today, and I'm going to start it off with 3D Home. So look at my home launcher, and I'm going to jump into the 3D Home. I'm going to show you the animations and effects that you get in this, but very promptly. So you can see that I got a wallpaper made right there, another wallpaper behind there, and it's very simple to do. But look at the whole like a carousel type of 3D that you move around. And if you actually click on a lot of these items, you see the movie, like a TV moving around. You can click on it, and it'll actually play the video like it's in your movies like this is a video that I created a long time ago and if you click on the stereo or the speakers you get prompted into your music now you have a little glass table here of your application there's your mail there's a searching there's your contacts or more contacts or dialogue and then if you click onto here it goes into your dialer if you click right here on the laptop it actually brings up all your applications and you get this little cool square and if you want to put something else or replace it, you can hold it. You want to go into your menu. You want to go to add. Add a 3D object or application. The camera, hold it. Set it down. There's widgets that you can set up here. There's a picture frame that I added. Uh, you can put your things here. You could also create their own folders in there. And if you actually look up in the sky, you get the weather. And you see right here, there's a little message saying that you can get something else along with it. Definitely something for you to mess around and check it out. So I'll go and do it to it. Here next we have multi-window for Samsung users only. You do have to be rooted. So if I click on multi-window, multi-window is the thing that allows you, let's bring out my photos. And now I could also, with this application, it allows me to open two applications at once, which you already could do, but not every application allows you to open two applications at once. And play Pac-Man as I'm searching through my photos, so you see, I can, you know, multi-use, multi-window, and you can shrink and you can raise it up higher if you would like, and it, you know, it just works like that. Let's bring it out, and now let's open, replace that, and it opens up my Instagram, and you see you can make it just two windows at once. You set any application to work with this. You see, these are all the ones that are disabled, and these are the ones that are enabled. So if you want it to work, you would have to check on... I'll reply now switches over to this side you want to switch to Candy Crush and I mean you can select them all and now they move over to this side I want to press save you need to reboot the system to take effect and I want to press yes but I'm not going to because I don't want to wait for the booting and everything but once you do that it's gonna come up in the options in here where it says edit in the edit mode the ones I selected will be on here then I'll be able to hold on to it and drag it into this little sidebar here press done right there so go try it out for yourself next up we have power line those of you guys who have noticed this little blue line and that little blue line that will jump up and down that is actually my battery bar and that's my cell phone signal and if i click into it this bar you can come in here you can change the battery type you can choose if you want it to be the signal Wi-Fi, unread SMS, missed calls, you see all these little options there that you can create little bars in your notification and you can make them smaller, more transparency, the border, the color, and the high, and the lows. And you can see I made another one with a signal, so the signal is that one. If you want to add another completely one processor, except that you have to actually buy the pro version to use all the functions this will also stay on if you're using an application on a full game screen this will always be up here and it'll show you it's very easy to disable i mean you don't even have to like right now if it's running you can just go up here and then touch and it'll hide away and it won't run until you want to open it up again because if it's in a game you're annoyed by the little bars there you can easily touch it away so that's how it works if you like it go try it out for yourself here next we have Dial App. One thing that I loved about this Dial App is the fact that it runs just like the Nexus Dialer. As soon as I start dialing, it's gonna come up with people's numbers that is close to whatever your number you're picking next. And you see, I got 90 different contacts that I can choose from in here, go back. I mean, if you click into here, you can sign into your Google account and you go into your phone contacts, which are in here, and you can, you know, just dial up through. So it's a really dark, hollow theme here that I really enjoyed seeing. You guys might really like it. It's nice. 
I liked it a lot. I think you guys will too, so go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Yahoo Weather. This widget right here is Yahoo Weather. Temperatures and the date and the time. If I click into it, it'll jump into the application itself, and then it'll load a picture for the background. Every like two hours or an hour, it'll switch to a different picture. And then right here, we got the next four day forecast. And if you go into the settings, you see you can see my local weather every two hours, units, status bar notification, if you like it in there, severe alerts, update on Wi-Fi only, clear photo cache, and Facebook logins, and Yahoo, if you have a Yahoo account, which I don't. You get to set out two kinds of widgets, you can resize them. And if you resize them, they kind of change a little bit up like that. It looks nice, so go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Scatter. Scatter is going to be a useful application just like cloud services where you can store all your files, videos, pictures, music, all that good stuff. This application will actually store it to your devices instead of over the cloud. You get to store it on your other tablet, on your computer, so it's not stored over the cloud. So whatever I wanted to copy and paste, it'll always be here so you get to find it, bring this up. You can also bring this up, you see the inbox, trash, and archives. You can see priority, that whatever you start, and the types of images, audio, video, PDF, text, URL, emails, office, documents, presentation, spreadsheets. So, you know, you can add more labels there that you can actually select and you can move them to whatever category you would like. So you gotta do a link there. If I wanna move this link, I'm just gonna send this and it tells you right here what account you would like to send it to and your connected devices will be here. So therefore it knows it's gonna send it directly to that. So it's not stored over the cloud once again. You're actually storing it on your computer, on your tablet and it's nice. So if you like it, Read the description more than what I told you and go try it out for yourself. Next up we have beautiful timer. One minute and 46 seconds. I'm gonna press play and now the counter is going down. Now you can create another one. You see there's another timer you can set. So you can set multiple timers. As that timer goes, you can see you can bring up, you see this spaghetti. So if you wanna be in the kitchen, and you know your spaghetti is going to be done in eight minutes so you can select this but this is the light version so if you want to do more than two at a time you have to get the full version let's bring this down and let's pause this and delete this one let's bring this back up so the spaghetti is ready phone will go off in exactly eight minutes it's going to tell me hey spaghetti is ready go check up on it so let's delete this and you see set timer let's do 10 seconds press start and you see the timer going down And then you get this effect right here. Dismiss, redo, or add another minute to the clock so if you need it an extra time. Bring down the notification. You could also go to dismiss or pause or add more time as well. I'm just going to dismiss. Pretty cool application. Go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Vodio. Vodio is a pretty cool discovering application here. Highlights and comedy. If I go into the left side or scroll to the right, there's Apple News. I can read about them. Cool way to find out all the hot trending tech news. You see there's more iOS 7 stuff that they're talking about since it's so cool and revolutionary. So here we have highlights. We click on it and we'll see Wooly Mammoth arrives in Japan from Russia. The video will play instantly and you could see it full screen. So whatever it was that we're talking about, you know, you can discover and read more and, you know, just go into the Hot 100, go to the tech world. I got to find really cool stuff on here. You can see my full screen partnership. And here we have my childhood nightmare that I used to have all the time about Chucky. The way it looks and the way it functions is really nice. You pick your categories, manage social accounts, the force fed, and you can bring up here, you see the highlights, and you can just jump real quickly if you want to add more. This is what's on right now. You can go into social feeds, you go activity, main channels, and go mores, and mores, and mores. I think you guys are gonna find lots of content on here that you guys would like to try, so go do it to it. Here next we have Popcorn Flicks. Popcorn Flicks allows you to watch movies for free, and this is actually legal. Here's the movies you can jump through, and it uh, doesn't have a, doesn't have all the selections you would like, but you know they add and replace new movies on here for you to see. Uh, let's click on this on Whirly Girly. All you gotta do is just press Watch Now. You don't have to download anything; it's just streaming through this little player here. You can go to the browsers and pick your genres. Go in the queue, whatever you save to watch. You can search for some videos. The reason why it's free is because it's advertisement. Video is all you gotta put up with, but it's cool. Let's go try it out for yourself. And last but not least, we have MovieTube. 
Every time I review one of these free streaming movie applications, they get removed and it's obvious Google is watching me. So, so Google, if you're paying attention, why don't you exploit me? Give me more subscribers, give me more viewers. That would be like the coolest thing ever. So anyways, I would suggest you to download this application immediately. So in the long run, you get to watch all these cool links to YouTube that people upload movies to YouTube and you give you the links. You know, people don't know how to search for these. They don't know what's on there. And if you want to see that there's English titles, you can actually go into the English only. Go to Spanish, you can go French and Korean, and you go to Japanese. So you get to choose between these ones. I go stick to English, you know. And you see Despicable Me 2. So if I click onto it, you see there's the searching IMDB information so you can read about it. Or just go into the play, and you obviously get to choose the browser or the YouTube application. And then you have somebody recording this video through the theater, and you can. So you're not going to get the best quality every time on every movie that you see, but if you don't want to go to the theater, you can actually watch some that are already in the theater that are not in the theater. You can just watch them with the links, and that's how cool it's going to be. Like I said, this stuff is going to be removed, so I would quickly as possible get it, because Google is obviously paying attention to what I put out because I remove it very quickly. So. Alright, I gotta go now. These are the best apps of the week, right up Google Play, brought to you by me, the Cool Loser. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to spread the word of the Cool Loser. Those of you guys who were wondering about that question and answer video that you guys left me, I will get to them, I will answer some of them in the comments, and I will make some of them in the next video that will come. Don't expect the next video to be anytime soon. It's just the fact that I wanted to gather everyone's questions and I'll put them all in one video with my face on it. Mike, why shut up? Alrighty, until next time, see ya later.